This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AJuice.com. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a trippy looking text animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's going to be super fun and very easy to create. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create a new composition for our text. So I'm going to call this text and I'm going to hit OK. Then I'll select my text tool and type in the text that I want. I'm going to type in trippy shit just like the example and I'm going to align this into the center. I'm using the I'm using the integral CF font bold and the font size is set to 100. All right, let's hit control K to bring up the composition settings. And what I'm going to do is change the height of this to 110. Hit OK. Then let's go back into our main render comp and I'm going to drag and drop in the text composition and let's select the rectangle tool from the shape layer all right make sure the stroke is set to zero and make sure the fill is set to gradient that is linear gradient hit ok and then i can just double click on this rectangle tool which is going to create a composition size rectangle and then i'm going to drag this black like so black point and drag this white point like so all right and then i'm, I'm going to rename this to map so it's going to act as a map to drive an animation, which is going to make sense in a moment. Right click and create a new adjustment layer. Put this on the top of the text Call this this for displacement and going to fix in preset and type in time displacement. Double click to apply that up. Now in the time displacement layer, I'm going to select the map. All right. Now you think you now you see nothing happens. That is now we will animate the text. So at one second, I'm going to select the text layer, hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this, create a key, create keyframe, go back and set this to zero. And now we have this really nice animation. So let's go to around 10 frames and move this just like that. Select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease them. Go into graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph and then move the handle just like so in order to create a nice peak into the center which will give a very nice motion to our complete animation as you can see pretty awesome so our base is ready let's um, develop the complete animation so i'm going to select all the layers hit ctrl shift c to precompose them call this animation underscore o1 hit ok all right and then what i'm going to do is create a duplicate of this so make sure you select the composition into the project panel select it hit ctrl d to duplicate it so we have animation 2 then jump into this go into the map and ro rotate this so i'm going to hit r and rotate this by 180 degrees and now we have the animation in a reverse style pretty cool so now we have two variation of the animations so this is our animation one what i'm going to do now is go right here hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this below and then move let's go three frames forward and push this like so and then i'm going to move this like so then let's create a duplicate again hit ctrl d let's go one two three frames forward move this like so ctrl d select this three frames forward also make sure you select this one move this right over here select the fourth one and move this right over here all right let's duplicate this again hit ctrl d go like so move this below and one more time hit ctrl d move this like so and move this right over here and now if i preview this we get a really interesting animation 
looks pretty cool. Now what we can do is select the second layer that we have here, go into effects and preset and type in um, fine edges. In order to add a little bit of variation, I'm going to invert this and boom, there we go. Let's copy this effect, hit control C, select these two, hit control V. So we have this really nice variation into our text. Now I'm going to do that same thing with the animation too. I'm going to drag and drop it right here. Also, I'm going to change the color of this. So make, make this red so that we can see it more properly. I'm going to pull this out like that. Hit control D, move this just like that. Move this out. Same, same complete, uh, same exact process that we did before. Move this up. Control D, move this up. And let's create one more. All right. And then I'll um, paste the same effect that we did before. So I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, basically every odd layer, hit control V. And now if I preview this, boom, there we have a really interesting animation. Now we, all you need to do is align them properly. As you can see, they're not properly aligned up. So I'm going to select them all and click on this icon that we have distribute layers. So distribute them vertically and boom. And then I can just use my arrow keys to move them properly, placing them into the center. There we go. And there we have our cool animation ready to roll. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AE Juice. They have an amazing I want it all bundle, which contains over 5,000 animated elements like transitions, presets, titles for your project. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin, and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack, which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. And the best part about this effect is I can anytime go into my text layer and type in more text if I want to. So let's say like this tutorial is trippy maybe. And um, let's add some elements at the start and then like though. And now if I go back, Boom, there we have a really interesting animation. It looks pretty cool, but we are not done yet. What I'm going to do is select all the layers, hit control shift C to precompose them. Let's call this RGB and let's add some RGB goodness to this. So to do this, I'm going to go into effects and preset, type in a shift channel. And I have already covered this uh, technique in in you know, many other tutorials, but I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to set this to red. Let's turn off the green and uh, blue channel. Let's set the blending mode to add hit control D hit control D to duplicate it. Let's select the second one, set the red to off and turn on the green. And then I'm going to hit control D one more time, set the blue to blue Oh, blue, blue, and this one to full off and now if I displace them by maybe a one frame or so we get this really cool RGB look as you can see looks pretty good maybe I can just change the way they appear because I want the red to start and then go to the blue so that is looking pretty good. Now I can create a new adjustment layer and add some goodness of glow right here. Also hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Let's put it at the back and on the glow layer, I'm going to go into effects and preset and type in glow, double click to add this up and then add some glow radius like so and increase the threshold basically. Play around with the settings to get the desired look. And boom, there we have this really nice animation. You can also make it loop. And uh, to do this, I can go into my. And in order to loop this, I can be. You can also to number of different things. You can use it as an in, um, Instagram story animation. Like, for example, you can go into text. You can type in like flat 50% 
or for something like that you know and use it as an instagram story and it's going to look super cool and definitely grab some attention pretty cool you can also add your logo into the center you can do number of different things basically with this method so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this effect of how to create the school um trippy animation inside of after effects trippy typography style animation basically and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and comment down below which technique you think was super helpful to you and if you're watching my video for the very first time make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out